Alright, um, so, yeah, um, about earlier, the thing with the chick, you know, well, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper within that story. Excuse me. So, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, anyways, um, when this, it was my last year in high school, I went to the Springfield School, um, in Vermont, anyway, but, yeah, um, it's my last class of the day and stuff, it's a computer class, and, um, it's just, I, I, I'm always pretty much the first person to walk into a classroom anyway, so, but, freaking, anyways, I'm looking at, you know, who are my new classmates, right? And then all of a sudden, oh my god, out of everyone, everyone, I mean, and she's the only chick in the class too, but you know what, that, that doesn't make a difference. It's just, oh my god, when I first saw her, all I could think about was freaking her. I mean, it felt like we were meant to be together, like, a fairy tale or whatever freaking I mean I'm just using that as an example but freaking I still talk to her everything I love her to death I would, I would do anything for her make her happy try and grant her wishes and she makes me laugh she makes me have a great time I love her so much I probably I probably wouldn't be this happy right now, besides having my nephew around. I mean, my nephew around is great, it's dandy, it's awesome, he's smart, but <sighs> with her in my life as well, it's like, I got, I, I have everything I want, and I just can't bear, it. I mean, I may sound a little bit psychotic or whatever, I really don't care, but I'm just expressing how I feel, I love this girl, and I would do anything to be with her. I, I gave up pot. I gave up drinking. And I used to drink a lot. Literally, a lot. And I used to smoke pot daily. And I... I just... I just couldn't bear. I mean, we got back... We hooked back up and everything. And freaking... It just... It felt right. And... I was so scared for like the longest time to tell her about about me about how I was smoking pot and drinking. I mean, I told her that I was drinking. I was drunk one night, and she got upset by that. But I figured she would have left me if I would have told her I smoked pot, and she didn't. I was I was surprised. Literally, I was surprised. I my heart. See, that is true love right there. That's 50-50, man. I mean, I know many people say it, but freaking in a relationship, it, it goes both ways. Trust and all. I mean, it doesn't matter what you've done in the past. Freaking, <laughs> that's all you, you know? I mean, if you truly love this girl, you'll be honest with her. You'll tell her everything. I mean, don't leave anything out. Not even dirty secrets. I mean, seriously. Like, you got to be honest with this girl. I mean, it doesn't matter what you do. I mean, if you love, if you truly love someone, you need to literally be all out with her. Treat her like a princess, um, or some sort. You know, respect her for her. Don't just be with her for fucking sex or anything like that, okay? Because you truly love someone, you love her for her. Your qualities. Doesn't matter where she came from. I mean, this girl I love so much is, oh, it's everything to me, and I just can't seem to live without her. I really can't. I've tried. I've gone through, like, six different relationships. There are six. Um, and they all turn out to be users. They all use me, show, spat in my face like a dog. And I'm a great guy. I treat women with decency. And I'm always a gentleman. Literally. And that is not because I'm trying to get laid or anything. 
I do it. I I feel I live by one rule. Um, actually, wait. I actually live by a couple rules. One, never hit a woman. You hit a woman in my presence, mother. Uh, you hit a woman in my presence. I'll knock your shit out. Two, um, always respect her. Doesn't matter who she is, unless she's done something bad or something like that. You know what I mean. And you know, be there for each other. And three. Be honest, really. Be honest. I mean, you truly love someone, be with her for her, not for freaking sex or anything, because that's just not healthy. And I live by a code, and I will die by that code. It, I mean, that's how I feel, you know? I mean, every, every, everyone has their own code. I have my code, you have yours, man or woman. I mean, everyone needs to be treated equally, and this girl. I love so much, I will freaking die for her. I, she brings joy to my life and everything in it. And she has the greatest smile. I just, oh, I just can't. I lose myself if I even think about losing her. I know she loves me, I, and she knows I love her. She does. I tell her that every damn day. You know her. You know her parents may not accept it, but I don't care. I love this girl. I'm honest about it. I'll tell them straight up. I've already told them straight up, but like not in person, but over a text. But you know, I love this girl. I will do anything to be with her. Anyway, so this video is to people out there who want love and. Or like are in a relationship that you know feels like they're in love and stuff like that. Just giving out some tips, hints, and also to my to the girl I want the most. And you know who you are, and I know who you are, and I love you dearly. Uh, you know it now. I mean, I told you many times, but now you really know it. All right. Catch y'all later. Be be proud of who you are.